you are looking for some support for current affairs, if you are a fresher, you are a working professional, you are a repeater, but you want some support for current affairs, then I have a program for you. Uh, I have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description. You can watch if you are interested. Right, class starts from 14th of February. Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Settler Series. I'm Gunam Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about exoplanets. Exoplanets. Now, these are planets which comes around other stars. See, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, etc. will come around our sun. Will come around our sun. But there are planets which will come around other stars which is called as exoplanet. Now, how to see these exoplanets? With your traditional telescope, you cannot observe these exoplanets. It's very difficult. What is the reason? The reason is, let's take a star. This is a star. Okay. So, this is a star. Now, this star is going to come up with a lot of radiation. The star is going to bring lot of brightness. Lot of brightness. It will be very bright. Look at sun. Can you see sun? So, the brightness will be so high. So, if there is any planet, sorry, if there is any uh, planet, assume that that is coming around, that is coming around this uh, star. Now you are seeing through your telescope, you want to see the exoplanet. You are trying to see, but what happens is, you will be getting, so what happens is, you will be getting a lot of radiations. You will be getting a lot of radiations. These radiations will mask, will hide these planets. So when you look, you cannot easily see the planet. This was the case earlier. Only in 1990s, so only in 1990s, okay, 1990s only, the exoplanets were discovered. Sir, how? How it was discovered in 1990? So, just imagine there is a star. Assume a planet is orbiting that star. So, I am bringing a planet. The planet is here. Then it comes here, then it comes here, then it comes here. Okay, so the planet is moving around that star. So now I am going to lock two locations. Let me lock two locations. So assume that the planet, right, it is here, then slowly it comes here. It slowly, it comes here. Now, because of the brightness, because of the brightness coming from the uh, star, that brightness is going to engulf, it is going to engulf this, it is going to engulf this planet. So, when you look it from a distance, when you look it from a distance, when the planet moves, it will appear as if the star is wobbling, right? The star is wobbling, but star is not wobbling. This planet is moving from one place to another place. When it moves, it is going to bring more, you know, that is going to divert this brightness. So let's say the planet is here, the brightness will extend there. The planet is here, the brightness will extend there. So when you look at a distance, it will appear that it is wobbling. Such wobbling stars will be identified. Based on that wobbling nature, we will try to understand about the exoplanets. But this methodology uh, will work only when the planet which is coming around the star is bigger. Like it should be Jupiter or bigger than Jupiter. Only then you will have observable changes or else you will not identify it. This was the method which was used in 1990s. Later in 2009, in 2009, NASA launched Kepler mission. NASA launched Kepler mission. So this Kepler mission, this Kepler mission was using a method called as transit method. So using this transit method, the Kepler mission was noticing this exoplanets. So how it works? Let's take a star. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me draw it here. Let's take a star. Now this star is going to come up with a lot of radiations. So brightness is going to be very high. 
Now imagine a planet is orbiting this star. The planet is somewhere here. The planet is somewhere here. This planet is orbiting around the star. Now what happens is this planet, will it not block these radiations? Right? This planet is going to block the radiations. So now what happens when you are looking at this uh, exoplanet or this when you are focusing this star, some other star, what happens? So here you are having lot of radiation brightness. Here you are having lot of brightness. But in this region, in this region, the brightness will come down. Right? The, see, I have uh, given a bigger sized planet, but understand the concept. Here, the, the brightness will be blocked. So, based on the changes in the brightness level of the star, based on the changes in the brightness level of the star, we can understand about the exoplanet. This method is called as transit method. This method is called as transit method. Alright, you got clarity? So, now why it was in news? A new exoplanet was discovered which is having a mass which is 13 times greater than that of Jupiter. That's why it was in news. Alright. So, so, these are planets that orbit around other stars. It's very difficult to see directly with telescopes. So, we need to have other ways. So, in 1990s, the first exoplanets were discovered. So, we will be focusing on the wobbling stars, right? In 2009, NASA launched Kepler, Kepler mission. So, Kepler mission will make use of transit method. See, here I have given the transit method uh, example. See, look at this small dot, okay? That small dot is nothing but the planet. When you focus that area, the brightness level of the star will be literally less. So, through this, see the brightness was high, then it is coming down at one particular area. Based on this, we try to understand the exoplanet.